Hello Internet and welcome back to Dark Diet, here with another episode of Doki Doki Literature Club. And before I begin, you may be wondering why there's music, but the background itself isn't moving or anything like that. That's because I stuffed up and the original video for this is corrupted. I was able to get the actual video out of the corrupted mp4 file, but I wasn't able to get the audio out of it, which included my voice and, you know, the music. So what I've gone ahead and done is I've taken the original OST, put it on top, so it's not that bad. But because of this, I'm not going to be able to faithfully replicate what it's truly like. Not without going back into Doki Doki and completely redoing everything that I did. And I thought, I may as well just re-commentate this. So that's what I'm going to do. This is the easiest option for me to do and just wanted to give you a heads up. Still going to commentate. I'm still going to give the characters voices. Just be aware it may be a little, uh, <laughs> it may be a little jittery. Anyway, enough talk. Let's see what's going to happen without Monica here. Are we going to encounter more glitches? Let's take a look and see what's going to happen. It's an ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Hey Steve! Well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we've picked up that habit once again. Steve, are you proud of me? Eh? For what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. And it's, it's interesting here because, uh, what, <laughs> there aren't any major glitches. So, I mean, if you remember, when Monica removed Sayori from the game, forcefully, there were tons of glitches happening all over the place, and yet, for whatever reason, with Monica gone, I mean, Monica was like the biggest part of the machine. She was able to directly control and influence all the other girls, and yet her disappearance doesn't seem to be affecting the game that much. I'm not sure what's what's gonna happen with that. Uh-huh, but you never even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Steve, have you decided on the club to join yet? A club? Yeah, I've already made up my mind. I told you already, I'm really not... I start to say what I always do, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs, but something tells me Sayori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs are a waste of time when she started a club of her very own? Oh, okay, so... Actually, yeah. That's, that's interesting. So, Sayori is the club leader now instead of Monica? wonder what that does. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo. It's, it's the anime club. Yeah. It's, it's no big surprise. It's, it's the anime club. You meanie? Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. But I started to realize that in a way, I envy her. When Sayori puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. Such as join the anime club and force her to join that as well. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Glitchiness? Ah, uh, Steve? W w what are you doing here? Okay, so Sayori isn't glitching on us. I wonder if there are glitches that are gonna happen here. Because, I mean, Monica was causing a lot of them, wasn't she? So... With her gone, I, pff, I have no idea what's going to happen here. Well, I, I just, yeah, I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the Steve that Sarah is always talking about? Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Steve. We're the Literature Club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's going to think we're really strict or something. Ah. Sorry, Natsuki. 
The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet- it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W w working Steve, don't tell me. You're- That's right! The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayuri. The Literature Club. Sayuri's eyes light up. N no way! No way! Ah! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey, cut it out! <laughs> well, if Sayuri's this happy, then I'm sure it wouldn't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Ooh, what an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah. After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens a closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! It's at those damn awesome cupcakes with the, with the kitty cats on them. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Just like the original timeline. So cute! Whoa, these look amazing! <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Sayuri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. The turkey is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This, this is, mm, this, this is really good. Hmm. Thank you, Natsuki. Of course it is. I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, uh, I guess. <laughs> what are you trying to impress on you, Bamba Yuri? Eh, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I, I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Steve, what kinds of things do you like to read? I like to read about, uh, BDSM. Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of a teacup with a finger. My favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that, sh that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we have in common. Hey, Yuri! Eh? What about, you know, the first thing he said? Manga? Is this that what you're talking about? That's right, Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. No, don't just, just say it! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? So, if Steve wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. He can take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Steve? Then maybe... Sensing the tension, Sayori jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. 
I, I think it could be fun, and we'll all get to know each other a little better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature clubs do, right? I mean, in this universe, literature clubs do uh, a hell of a lot more than that. You know, they split off into, vert into parallel timelines. Well, not even parallel timelines, just whole different universes where, you know, Yuri stabs herself and Natsuki... I, I don't know what Natsuki does. And then Sayori does this, the Sayori thing. I, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, you're on as usual, President. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Then as for Yuri? Eh? I... I have to read manga? I have to become a weeb? Jeez, you're the one who suggested we diversify! You, sh you should be a little more open-minded! It's kinda hurtful. Hurtful? I... I didn't... realize. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. This is like the complete opposite of what happened in Act 2. Because, you know, they started bitching at each other and that bitching got to, like, whole new levels. It, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? Uh, I mean, it, it makes me happy you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. J just, just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Not at all. We can become homies. I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Hehe, <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Steve. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get a lot a little better with you when you're around. Oh, Steve, don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Steve, I really wanna thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. What do you mean by that? Hehe, <laughs> it's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica? What? That's right. I knew- I know everything she did because- Maybe it's because I'm the president now, but I really know everything, Steve. <laughs> I know how hard you try to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us- it's just us now! It's just- and- and, and you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever for forever What the No. Eh? What? No, Monica, you're dead. Get out of here, Monica. I, I won't let you hurt him. Oh my god, what is happening? Ah uh, I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori, goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Letters Club. Oh my uh Um Static? Staticky? Of course there's still glitches after all of this. I thought we were going to finally have a happy ending and then this happens. Just what even is this? <laughs> what? What? What is going on here? I don't understand. It's just static with... Oh wait, no. It changed pictures. Okay. I think maybe we're progressing to something. I'm not entirely sure what we're progressing to. Are we going to get to the credits? Finally, after all this time, are we going to get to the credits? I hope so. Because, I mean, I've spent a lot of time in this game. I better get to the... Oh, Renpai Music Play, ddlc.ogg. Into his 
Just to find that special day. Oh hey, it's 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 the Natsuki. But why is it grayed out? I must remove images. Oh boy. I I don't remember either of those two images popping up. So maybe that happens if we speak to Natsuki more? Because we got that image. Right. That image of Yuri we definitely got. <laughs> it was uh, in the thumbnail like twice <laughs> of a couple of episodes. We also got that picture in Act 2. And oh yeah, I remember, I remember that picture. A variant of that picture I used as a thumbnail in Episode 5, I believe. If I can remember correctly. Um, yeah, we didn't get that one of Yuri. I believe we just need to spend... I think we need to spend more time with each of the individual characters. We definitely got that one of Sayuri. Because that was episode two. I remember I remember having a go around the outside in Photoshop and getting it all nice. I don't remember that one of Sayuri. So... It looks like we've got a lot more to complete in this game. But, alas, I will be doing the true end of the game. I I don't remember that one of Sayori hugging us either. I wonder if that happens if we choose to accept Sayori's feelings. <laughs> yeah, we definitely 100% got that picture of Monica. Because, you know, again, it was in the thumbnail of the episode. Uh, the, the last episode, actually. If you remember. But that was that was pretty cool. I'm kind of glad I made it to the ending. <laughs> to, to the credits. Everyone's like, keep playing until you reach the credits. And here I am, finally, at the, at, at the credits. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand. The Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true. For being a friend to all the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my Literature Club. With everlasting love, Monica. A script file is missing or corrupt. Please reinstall the game. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> apologies about this being a shorter episode, but I, because I'm going to be doing the true, the, going to try and get the true end, that means I'm going to be completely redoing the game, uh, from the first poem, and I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely going through from that point, so... I thought I may as well, you know, just re-record this episode, get it over and done with, and then just start fresh on a on a brand new episode, uh, where I actually begin, where I begin the true end run. I'm pretty excited to see what the true end is. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a guide to get the true end. Uh, I know that to get the true end, you need to see all those pictures, like in the credits, some of them are grayed out. Those are the pictures we need to get. So we get all of them using save, like our saves, and we just load them up. And we just, before Sayori suicide, we need, like we need to load uh, a fresh save before Sayori suicide each time for each new girl. I'm going to do that. Because we are getting that true win. I have spent so many hours in this game. We are gonna do this. I'm hyped for it. And again, apologies for how short this episode is. I hope you understand. But this is where I'm gonna end the episode. And I will see you all in the true end. Well, the first episode of the true end route. But I will see you there. I'll see you all in the next video.